Hello, Haunted House Industry. We're here at the HHA show, which is the Haunted House show, which is also now the Christmas show. So we decided we would upload two videos and show you the Christmas section of the Haunted House show. It's pretty big, lots of cool stuff. We're gonna walk through. Uh, a lot of haunts have decided to get in the uh, Christmas business. A lot of Christmas attractions um, have gotten into the Haunted House business. It's just like all over the place. So the Having the two of these shows together makes a lot of sense, let me tell you. And, uh, cause they're both seasonal type attractions. So we're gonna uh, give you a quick tour around through the Christmas section, and you're gonna see some of the wildest Christmas lights you've ever seen. This is gonna be just a complete walkthrough, and you're gonna see the whole thing uh, with no people here, and I think that's what's important. Okay, you ready? Here we go. But make sure you like and subscribe to our Haunt World YouTube page. Leave your comments and tell us what are the favorite things that you saw. You ready? Here we go. So just to be clear, Haunted House Show is kind of like from here back. And then that's where the Christmas show picks up. And it's also like kind of a big inflatable show. So everything back there is like inflatables. And if you ever want to come to this show, yeah, and all these things are kind of neat. And if you ever wanted to come to this show, they have a show just for the Christmas uh, show. And I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Now this was at IAPA. I saw that at IAPA, the singing penguins and whatnot. Uh, but these Christmas shows uh, that open at Christmas time are just like usually drive-throughs. Very few are walk-throughs. And there is just some really cool stuff in here, let me tell you. Um, like a big light tunnel there. Wow, look at that Christmas tree. Oh my goodness. That thing is as big as the convention center. That is insane. I have never seen a Christmas tree that big. And they got it into this place and set it up. That's even more amazing. Uh, so this is the only show that I know of that is all, that has like virtually every company that sells something for Christmas. And there's a lot of reasons why these shows are put together is because like a lot of theme parks have gotten into Christmas and they also do Halloween. So the synergy of the two of them being together, you might find it strange, but it's actually not strange because a lot of the people that do Halloween follow it up with Christmas. It's really kind of crazy. Like yeah, most of the theme parks do both. Wow, look at that. So you'll see like if you come to the show, like casinos from Las Vegas coming here to check out these lights, you know, because they do lights um, in a lot of their hotel properties. You'll see theme parks. Lots of theme parks will be here. And you, you would find it strange, but they would spend more time probably in the Christmas section than the Halloween section. And it's uh, really cool that Transworld was able to produce this Christmas show. Wow, this thing is absolutely amazing. Some of this stuff is so expensive. Oh my gosh, check this out. Isn't that cool? That is so neat. I have no idea what that would cost. I'm imagining it's a lot. <laughs> and there is an animated Santa. An animated elf. There's a big tree. Holy cow. And mini donuts. I can tell you these really sell at haunted houses. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But they sell. You know, and you also have to remember, like a lot of malls would come to this show too. Because of course, malls, their biggest time of the year is Christmas. So this Christmas show is very popular. 
And fortunately, when the Haunted House show started, it was very small and it's grown into something so much bigger. Look at those uh, Grinch costumes, isn't that cool? Look at that inflatable, oh my God. And here's a bunch of uh, animations. All kinds of moving. Here's a company that says, we hang Christmas lights. And of course, there's Halloween stuff in here as well. And uh, then you kind of get over here and there's a lot of inflatables. So that's kind of like the Christmas section. Pretty big, lots of cool lights. Some go into the ceiling. I can only imagine the ceiling here is 100 feet tall. Uh, I mean, I don't know how tall it is, but it looks really high. And it's just amazing that some of those things are literally going up to the ceiling. Um, here's some Easter stuff. Some cool dinosaurs. That's pretty cool. Holy cow, is that cool? Wow. Now, if we uh, mosey on over here we are in the inflatable section lots and lots of inflatables but this is also where the escape room section is and uh, there's all kinds of companies that sell different things for escape rooms the escape room section used to be really really big if I was being honest with you it's not as big as it was before it's actually much smaller and I think the reason for that is, oh, see this company, Exola? Like, don't be, don't fall for using a company like that. They say that they're, they're just, they charge way, way too much. Way too much. Okay, uh, you, you know, use Bookio, for example. You pay very little, very little, and you get pretty much the same service. They have some cooler features, but you don't need them. You don't want to give your money away. But this is really cool. The Stabbing Cabin. Whatever that means. It seems pretty cool though. I like it. Kraken Casino. Looks really nice. Like there's some uh, mobile uh, axe throwing. And, you know, getting back to that Exola company, I actually use them. They have a great system. There's no doubt about that. But taking 6% or something like that of every dime you make, I mean, give me a break. Give me a break. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Okay. They, they said, why are you leaving, Larry, when we left? I said, uh, well, because I'm not paying you 6% of every dollar I make. You're just a booking service. You go to Bookio and pay $100 a month, like, or I could pay you $10,000, $20,000. Uh, it's insane, it's just insane. So anyway, it looks like that's about it. There's like, uh, these are like for kind of corn mazes. You set them up outside and uh, let kids run around. You have to remember the haunted house industry has a lot of, uh, what they call agritainment, that's outdoor entertainment on farms. And a lot of this stuff is intended to work for those kinds of people. And you know, where they attract lots and lots of kids. Anyway, it looks like uh, that's about it. Whoops, hold on. It looks like that's about it. 
that's the whole tour of the Christmas section and the escape room section. Watch our, uh, and boy, I'm hot because you know, they don't have air conditioning on in these convention halls until the convention starts. So that's why it's so freaking hot. And I'm wearing a, unbelievably, I'm wearing a, 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 a hoodie. I was really dumb. Nobody said I'm smart. <laughs> But anyway, make sure you like and subscribe to the Haunt World channel because we're going to bring you a lot more videos. And remember to find the scariest haunted houses in the world at hauntworld.com. And until then, we'll see you soon. And uh, until then, take care. And uh, we hope to bring you some more cool videos coming soon. And make sure you come to the show in 2023. I think it's going to be in February. So one more pan across the bit, the, the show, the Christmas show. Nice little photo up there. And you guys have fun and we'll see you soon.